now, it's time for our daily devotion, daily abiding in Jesus Christ, in the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christodo Genobaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily abiding in Jesus Christ. June 1, 2020 Matthew 19, verses 16 to 22 Verse 16 And, behold, one came and said unto him, Good Master, what good thing shall I do, that I may have eternal life? 17 And he said unto him, Why call lest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is, God, but if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. 18. He saith unto him, Which? Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. 19. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. 20. The young man saith unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up, what lack I yet? 21. Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. 22. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy The character of God is expressed in his law, and in order for you to be in harmony with God, the principles of his law must be the spring of your every action. Christ does not lessen the claims of the law. In unmistakable language he presents obedience to it as the condition of eternal life the same condition that was required of Adam before his fall. The requirement under the covenant of grace is just as broad as the requirement made in Eden harmony with God's law, which is holy, just, and good. Christ Object Lessons page 391 The lover of self is a transgressor of the law. The rich young ruler professed to have kept the commandments, but he was destitute of the principle which is the very spirit and life of them all. He did not possess true love for God or man. This want was the want of everything that would qualify him to enter the kingdom of heaven. In his love of self and worldly gain he was out of harmony with the principles of heaven. He wanted eternal life but would not receive into the soul that unselfish love which alone is life. By Ellen G. White, Christ Object Lessons, pages 392, 393. Our prayer for today. Dear God, our Father in heaven, it is with profound humility, and with awe and reverence that we approach your holy presence because you are our Creator and our loving Father. Our hearts are filled with joy and gratitude for sending your only begotten Son who suffered by shedding his blood at the cross and died in our place, and by believing in him we are able to receive eternal life. Our prayer today is for for Jesus Christ to dwell in you as our only hope of being glorified. Thank you for answering our prayer for we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.